I hear a jaguar nearby. It's right over this way somewhere. There it is. I didn't even see us. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to make our uh, machine bench as the first thing we're going to do. Uh, so I have all of the stuff in here uh, ready to make the machine bench, so let's get that crafting right now. Uh, while we're waiting for that, we do have some uh, talents and text tree stuff and all that sort of thing. Uh, so we want to go to Tier 3, and uh, we've already learned the concrete furnace and the cement mixer. So the very next most important thing we need to do is learn the Platinum Pickaxe and the Platinum Knife. I'm going to hold off on the axe. We will probably eventually also do that. Um, we want to definitely get this recurve bow ASAP too. Uh, how many points do we have? Yeah, let's let's actually do that. We're not... Mm, I don't know if we're going to do aluminum arrows. Aluminum arrows are very expensive. We'll probably stick to steel arrows. Uh, which, by the way, we need to learn here in Tier 2. Uh, so let's do that right now. We still have two points left. Uh, so let's let's learn the Lantern and go back to Tier 3 and learn the Biofuel Composter. Very good. Okay. Um, now we're going to go to Talents. And uh, we have a solo talent here. Uh, let's see. What is this? What, uh, let's carry weight on that. Oh, yeah. We wanted to... We wanted to do this. Um, damage with bows. Reload speed. You know, let's let's actually put an, another point into the heavy hitter. So we increase our melee damage by 10%. And then in the talent tree, we're just about finished maxing bows out here. I think what we'll do here is this will give our bow more durability when we make the new one. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, and I think that takes care of our talents and our our skills for this point. We are getting very close to the next level also. Let's grab the Messini bits out of here. And the plan is to put that right here, and then we don't have any more floor space left after this. Uh, fantastic. Okay. So, um... Before we can do the platinum pickaxe, though, we, we got to do the steel pickaxe, and I we just we're just going to use the steel pickaxe for a very short period of time, just enough to get enough platinum in order to then make the platinum pickaxe. Um, so, let's see. Concrete furnace is the very next thing we want to do. No, sorry, cement fixer. Uh, fixer, mixer. Cement mixer. Okay, so we're going to need 50 wood. That's, uh, there's 50 wood right there. Look at that. We're going to need 40 stone. Let's just, uh, here, we'll split that in half. And we'll just take 47 stone for now. What else do we need? 20 iron ingots. I did get some more iron out of that cave last night. Eight rope and eight iron nails. We've got a bunch of rope in here. should have some extra nails in here okay and that allows us now to make our cement mixer fantastic all right now we have a space issue <laughs> uh, this is a very temporary setup in here so I think what we'll do is uh, we're gonna have to kind of cheese this a little bit so we're going to put this in the center here. And what we'll probably do is use it and then pick it back up when we're not currently using it. That's probably what we're going to do. Okay, now we need tree sap, stone, and silica ore to start making concrete. Specifically, we need 20 concrete mix. I have a bunch of silica in here. And uh, here, 
let's keep a little bit of that in there. Oh no, we don't need silica at all in here. Not to make that. Okay, we're good to go. So we'll put all this silica in here. We will put all of the stone we currently have in here. I've made eight more stone foundations too that we're gonna lay down at some point. And uh, tree sap. We should have tree sap right here. Okay. Is this enough to make 20 of these? Oh, <laughs> we're one shy. Can you believe that? Okay, not a problem. And uh, this will take, eh, it won't take a super long time. It'll take a little while. All right, what else are we going to need for that? We have the epoxy and we have the iron ingots. Uh, iron ingots right here. We need 12. So we'll split this stack in two. And then uh, bring that over there. 12 epoxy. We have 13 epoxy right there. Look at that. We'll take one off the stack and put that in there. And yeah, now we're just waiting for the concrete mix. I'm not sure what we're short. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I made a bunch of sticks in here and we're going to grab a good chunk of those and turn them into more tree sap. Okay. Um, as far as silica goes, if that's what we're short, we're just going to go to mine some and... We're also going to need to go mine some more stone. Well, we're going to be need to mine a ton of stone, actually. Oh, you know what, though? I have some stone in here, don't I? Uh, not enough to shake a stick at. Okay. So I'm going to go grab some silica and some stone. There is a jag over there. So a pig over there. We could get him and make some more crispy bacon. We still have 15 crispy bacon though. And you know, we we need to get a refrigerator. Because we're not gonna be able to do an ice box at all until we can get into the Arctic biome, which isn't gonna happen until we Man, that texture issue is terrible. Uh, that's not gonna happen until we do that mission so we can open up the arctic biome there we go got ourselves another level all right let's butcher him all right i think there was some silica up here I mined some of it earlier, but I didn't get all of it. Uh, let's go this way. When you're getting close to being able to make better picks, you want to minimize the use of the iron pick as much as possible just because you don't get as much yield from it. As time goes on, we're going to need quite a bit more cement too but for now we're just gonna grab this little bit and uh, we needed some more stone too so let's grab some stone while we're here uh, for talents uh, let's see we did the the durability one that's reload speed, that's movement speed. What's this? Chance to craft double when crafting arrows. Eh, that's not bad. Cheaper bow crafting, nah. That's more of a multiplayer thing. 15% chance to fire an additional arrow or bolt or chance to wound. Eh, I, you know, I think we're going to... I think we're going to call it good on bows for now. And, you know, we're going to start making 
guns and rifles in particular is what you know unless they've changed it those are really the really good guns of course shotguns aren't bad either uh, reload speed and damage with rifles sharpshooter okay yeah let's start focusing on on gun stuff now or I don't know we should we should probably do maybe get our knife damage up a little more of course we're gonna be using knives less and less for wet as a weapons you know once that we start getting into the guns and stuff um, you know we do okay with the knives let's just let's just start putting some points into guns okay that we also have three more points here uh, so let's do the canteen so I'm tired of running out of water. And I've already done the biofuel composter. Alteration bench. Um, <coughs> we definitely will be doing the kitchen bench because that opens up some really good stuff. Uh, I think I'm just going to sit on those points for the moment until I have a chance to look at it a little more closely. Okay, stone, silica, and we're going to need a lot more concrete, so let's just keep crafting it. And uh, we'll put another thing of tree sap in there, too. Okay, as soon as this next concrete's done, there it goes. We can now make the concrete furnace. Let's get that crafting. Let's make some crispy bacon with this pork that we got. We will turn this into animal fat. Okay, now, this thing is pretty decent size. This is something we're gonna wanna keep down all the time. We're not gonna be picking it up and putting it back down. I was going to put it in here, but they made it a lot bigger. So, uh, we can't really keep our bed. Uh, oh, I mean, we have to keep our bed down for for the spawn point. Okay, so for now, this is gonna, things are going to be really tight in here. But for now, what I'm going to do, I think, is put it right here. We can still move around it to get to that side. I like this new model. Um, it was different than the last time I played. Okay, let's grab some wood. Put that in there. And now let's grab this steel bloom. And uh, turn and, uh, put it in there. And turn it on, and we are finally making steel. Wow, <laughs> takes a long time. Took us a long time to get to this point, but it's a good place to be because steel is kind of the gateway into the to the better stuff in this game, for sure. And the steel pick is the absolute first thing we want to make. Uh, so, oh, did I learn that? Ooh, it's a good thing I saved a point, huh? Steel pick. I didn't. All right. Well, thank goodness I saved a point. Otherwise, we would have had to wait a little bit longer. I'm not going to bother with the steel axe or the steel knife because we're going to go straight to platinum. Um, we are going to want the wood cupboard, so let's just throw our final point into that for the time being. Okay, so now, I think, do we make the steel pickaxe in here? Yes, we do. So we just need six steel ingots, four epoxy, and five wood. Okay, let's grab some epoxy out of here. It said five wood. throw this out here a 
Lag, lag, lag. Laggity, lag, lag. Okay. And we can now make a steel pickaxe. Amazing. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so what that means now is that we can mine uh, platinum. That's all we're going to mine with this is platinum. We're not going to mine anything else but platinum. Enough to make first the pickaxe and then the knife and a little later on the axe. Um, and then, you know, titanium will come later, but the titanium is still quite a ways out for us. Super. Okay, so... Let's let that finish making whatever steel it's currently making. Plus, we still have eight thingies of it right here. And, um, you made all the rest of the concrete that you can make. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff out of here. And we're going to pick this guy up. And like I said, we'll just put him down when we need him. And I guess we'll just store it in here for now. these uh, those guys back in there uh, I'm just gonna put the iron pickaxe in here I'm not gonna get rid of it yet uh, <coughs> keep it in there for now okay so um oh steel arrows yeah maybe we should make some steel arrows let's grab 20 ingots there and where do we do that? Do we make those in here? Uh, we need epoxy too. Wow, okay. Well, we got lots of it. It's just that epoxy is one of those things you can never have too many of. Okay, so here's what's cool about this. These arrows. Uh, obviously they're going to do... A, you know, a lot more damage, but they have a 20% critical chance and, and only a 20% break chance. Whereas the flint arrows have a 30% break chance. And a 15 crit. So we can make a total of 20 of those. I got a stupid thunderstorm. Doggone it. That's going to slow me down. Um, Alright. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Right, let's, get, let's get these in our inventory. I'm going to retire those. We'll use these up on lesser prey. Let's throw this in there. And before that storm gets really bad, we're going to sprint over to the cave over here. So I can at least be mining, um, you know, while we're waiting for the storm. Let's grab one of these. A bacon and a T-bone. All right, so we're going to pull all the platinum out of here. Uh, let's switch to these arrows. We'll save the steel arrows for more dangerous stuff. Um, got him. This is platinum here. I think we need like 15 ingots, maybe something like that, to make the pick. So that means we need 30 ore. Uh, we will eventually grab this stuff, but I want to have the platinum pick before we do because we'll get more yield. Alright, we're going to run into some more bugaboos back here. There's going to be one pop out of there for sure. Our original cave has a decent amount of platinum in it. So we'll be running there next after we get everything out of here that we can get. Alright, 
Let's get that guy up on top. Nothing there. Here, let's drink some water. Okay. So, again, look for platinum only. That's titanium. That's going to wait. It's aluminum. That will wait. Damn it. Can we get to this from here? I mean, we can go back around again, but I don't want to. Can almost jump back up through here, but oh yeah, we can. Okay, good. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any more platinum in here or not. That's copper. That's gold. It's aluminum. Titanium. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's all we have for platinum in here. Unless I'm just missing it. Um, that's titanium. Oh, here's some. Good, good, good. How many, uh, oh, 90, okay. Oh, you know what though? I think it takes more than two though to make an ingot now that I think about it. It's not a two to one ratio. Okay, well, what we're gonna do, uh, this storm is pretty much over, at least the worst part of it. Let's go back to the base, get this platinum smelting, and then we're gonna run back to our original cave and get all the platinum out of there. Screw him, I don't care about his giblets. We got more important things to do right now. Alright, let's throw this in here. And <clears throat> it is. Yeah, it's it's a five to one ratio. Uh, so five goes into ninety. 19 times? 18 times? Something like that? 5 times 10 is 50. So yeah, around 8... eight yeah, 18. It's 18. So that actually will give us enough to make the pick, because we only need 12 to make it. Fantastic. So that being the case, I'm not going to mine anything more with the steel pick, because again, we'll get better yield once this one's done. So we just really need to wait now. Uh, for this platinum to finish uh, and it takes a while it's definitely gonna take a while but it'll be worth the wait all right guys I'm gonna cut the camera here and uh, when uh, when this is done we will make the platinum pick and then we'll take off back to our original cave and we're gonna get all of the ores out of that cave um, all the high-level ores and bring all of that back here okay so I'll see you when we're ready to make that pick all right, guys, we have 12 platinum ingots. That means we are ready to make our platinum pickaxe. Uh, except for I need two pieces of a wood. Uh, let's just grab the wood out of here. There we go. All right. That's a big milestone for us. So this is going to be our main pick for quite some time because it's going to be a while before we're ready to do titanium. Uh, but this is a good pick. It's got a 70, a plus 70 mining radius and 133% yield compared to uh, the steel, which is only 65 and 130. Um, so let's put the steel pick in here. Again, we'll hang on to it for now. 
just I guess as a backup. I made a little more steel bloom. This is all I had uh, iron left to make. So let's throw that in there so we can make some steel. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to take our new fancy schmancy platinum pick and head back to our original cave and get all of the rest of the ore out of that cave. Um, so are we ready to go do that? We got our steel arrows, we got our flint arrows, uh, we got all of our backup stuff there. Let me put this back in here. Uh, we need to eat. And uh, we'll take a drink. And yeah, I think we're good to go. It is uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And so we're just going to let this run. It's actually the next day in real life for me, too. And I put, um, I started the game this time with DirectX 11 instead of 12. Uh, just to see if it makes any difference. I don't think it's going to. Um, but we'll see. And the problem that my computer has with this game is it... Oh, that scared me. Uh, is it's just, you know, I, I have a lot of macro stuttering and frame freezes and stuff like that. Um, 12 looks better than 11, but it still doesn't look too bad, really, I guess, as 11. And, oh, hello, wolf. So we'll see. I mean, maybe maybe it will perform better. I, I've done that test, you know, comparison before. Yeah, see, we just had that big old freeze right there, so um, it might not make any difference. Uh, but we'll we'll go with this for now. And if I feel like it's not making any difference at all, then we'll just go back to 12. It's just it's gonna stutter. We might as well have it look good while it stutters. <laughs> I've spent a long time messing with the graphics settings to try and get a good balance between, you know, visuals and performance, and it's just, uh, I, I've never really been able to get it, find a good sweet spot for it. I'm not, you know, I don't have everything cranked up on Epic, and it only does it when I'm recording, too. If I'm just playing without recording, I can have everything turned all the way up, and it runs fine. It's just, you know, that extra stress on my... On my starting to age machine. My machine's um I don't know, was about four years old now, five years old. It's custom built by myself. Um <clears throat> I have a, a 3060 Ti card, so I've got a pretty decent graphics card. My processor's uh, I got 64 gigs of RAM. Um and my but my processor's a little bit on the older side. It's a an i7X series. So, I don't know. I'd like to get another couple years out of this machine before I invest in a new one. We'll see how things go. Okay, we're back at the original cave here. We're going to have to deal with the worms. Do I have an extra torch? I don't. Um, do I have stuff in here to make another torch? I do. That was a steel arrow. I should have switched to a flint arrow. Um, yeah, let's switch to the flint arrows. Hopefully we can get this one back. Oh, good. Perfect. Okay. Our goal here, well, our prioritization, I should say, is that we want to get all the platinum first, because we have more platinum stuff to make. Uh, a knife and an axe in particular. And then, but we will be grabbing all of it. Because here again, I'm not going to wait until I get to a titanium pick to mine other stuff. Because it's just going to take too long and we need to move things along. Okay, that should take care of the rest of those guys. Have pneumonia, so let's take one of our elixirs. Cross our fingers and hope we don't get it again. But if we do, we have more elixirs. Okay, so platinum first.
Okay, we have all of the platinum and we still have um, room left. So next priority is aluminum because we need that to make our the new bow. And then after that, we'll probably start grabbing more iron because we need that for steel. I also need to invest in a few points into probably the thing that makes the most sense is thatch ramps <clears throat> so that I can get up to the higher place. It kind of sucks that we have to put four points in total to get to that. But I mean, when it's all said and done, there's blue blueprint points to spare in this game so you know it's the talent points you have to really think about because those are limited blueprint points you know by the time you hit level 50 you've got them coming out your ears so i'm not really too worried about that um both of those are gold actually since we're up here let's just get them now I think there's at least one, maybe two more aluminum deposits in here. What's that? Severe winds. Great. That's going to trap us in here until it's done. That's titanium. We're going to leave that for now because we can't do anything with it. Oh, there's another platinum up there. Can we get to it? And that gets us heavy. Okay, so, um, why don't we go back to the front of the cave and drop off the gold, because we don't need gold at the moment. We're going to need lots of it later, but we don't need it right now. Okay, well, we're just going to wait for this dumb storm to get finished, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base. All right, we are back. And looks like we need to put the new torch on there. Uh, we will get lights set up in the base here eventually. Okay, so we want to pull you out and you out, and I want... We still want to prioritize platinum. Uh, we can get the iron smelting in here. Um, actually, no. There's no point in doing that because that's going to be turned right down into steel bloom. So let's just get that going there. That gives us... Um, okay, let's see. What do we need for the bow? Okay, we have enough steel. Um, we do need to make steel screws, so let's make... 100 of those. That only requires one ingot. So we'll need eight rope. In fact, I'm just going to keep all of this rope in here because this is going to use it a lot for other things too. Um, eight epoxy, which we should have in here. Uh, I don't see any epoxy in there. Where would it be? Epoxy. Really? That's all tree sap. Here it is. We've got a whole mess of it in here. We'll also store the epoxy in here. And then, yeah, we're just going to have to wait for 18 aluminum ingots. And wait for uh, enough platinum to make the knife. And then when we hit the next level which is just about there, um, then we're going to learn the Platinum Axe as well. Okay, so I'd like to end out this episode with at least the Platinum Knife and maybe even the Axe uh, or, or, and the Bow. So I'm going to cut the camera here, and when I have everything ready to make at least the Bow and the Knife, we'll say uh, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we just leveled. So what we're going to do is we got three points. Uh, we're going to do thatch beam, thatch floor, and thatch wall. And that unfortunately burns all, all those points. It's the ramp we're trying to get to. Um, I know you can use the beams too, but they're just too big of a pain in the butt to climb up on. The ramps are so much easier. So uh, as far as talents goes, we have a solo talent, which is great. 
We're going to put that right on into honed heads. So that gives us 5% more damage with <clears throat> bows and crossbows. And then when we hit this the second time around, we'll have 10% more and 10% reload, which is really good. Uh, oh, I guess we have a normal talent point too. Uh, so we started working on rifles. Featherweight. 25 seconds. Okay, yeah, we'll probably eventually get that. That's actually worthwhile. Um, but we're going to do reload speed because we need to use this to get to this anyway. Plus reload speed of rifles is good to have. Okay, we have enough material now to make our platinum knife. Fantastic. Okay, so this does 60 to 70 melee damage, 200% yield from skinning versus 64, 54 to 60 and 200% yields. So we don't get any more for skinning, but we just have a more durable and higher damage weapon there. Um, so again, for now, I'm just going to store my backup weapons in here, but when I start running out of space, we'll probably get rid of some of those. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to throw this aluminum in here. And aluminum has a higher priority than platinum, so as soon as it's finished with this platinum bar, it'll start doing aluminum. And we need to get 18. Wow, that's expensive. 18 ingots. What's the ratio on this? Oh, it's only a, uh, a one to one. Okay, perfect. So that won't take too long to do. So I'll bring you back when we're ready to make the boat. All right, guys, we have enough aluminum to make the recurve bow. Here we go. Let's do it. Plus, it's got durable too, so it'll be a little stronger. And we can now retire our longbows. All right, so let's go to inventory and. We will retire our two longbows. And here we go. Look at this. Nice setup. We should probably go test this out on a bear before we wrap up the episode. Um, I thought I heard a bear over this way. We can start killing buffaloes now. Um, because... The reason I haven't been killing them up to this point is because you can't skin them with an iron knife. You have to have a steel knife or higher. But now that we have the platinum knife, we can add them to our hunting list. I am planning on taming one, but I don't have all the stuff ready for that. So we'll worry about that later. Uh, I'm not hearing a bear. There's a wolf that just spawned out of nowhere. Let's not waste an arrow on him. We should definitely be powerful enough now to one-shot a bear if we get a good sneaky crit off on him. I think I hear him over this way. All right, come here. Come to Papa. I hear a jaguar nearby. It's right over this way somewhere. There he is. He didn't even see us. <laughs> is that another one coming in? Yep, the other one's coming in. Alright, let's bandage up. Oh, there's a MOA. Seriously, dude? Yeah, we're on a pig. Alright, crispy bacon time. We're just wrecking everything in the forest. I don't want him to steal my bacon. Here, let's put this on so we can see what the heck we're doing. I also don't want this guy to touch me, though. Give me my arrows back. 
Now, I want to find the pig in particular. We just got to run back this, straight back this direction until we find there. All the bodies. Here we go. And another jag. Whew, man, we're going through the bandages like crazy. Okay, let's get all these critters harvested and then we're going to head back to the base because it's too dark now for this, this kind of stuff. What I'm going to do is when I hit the next level, which we're three quarters of the way there already, I'm going to get that thatch ramp and then I'm just going to go back into the caves and start mining like crazy. I'm probably going to do that all off camera so I won't bring you guys back until I have a significant supply of ore and uh, we'll then move on to the next thing. Uh, I will tell you kind of what the the immediate plan is for you know uh, what next skill points and stuff we're gonna get um, let's get back to the base first though get out of the woods here for gatherer three all right let's make some crispy bacon we'll turn the normal meat into animal fat We want to start our campfire out here. And then sleep to make it morning before a storm comes and puts our campfire out. There we go. Okay, so um, here is the, the tentative plan. for Because uh, I might not see you for a few more levels before I start the next episode. Uh, so, for, so as far as tech tree goes, we're going to we're going to get the thatch roof, and then in tier two, um, I'm not sure. Thinking about maybe. Well, no, I don't know if we'll get those. Uh, we're, I'm going to get the animal taming stuff in tier two. I definitely will not do that off camera. I'll, I'll do the taming with you guys. Oh, oh, we're gonna we need to get gunpowder and carbon paste. So those two we'll be getting. For armor, gilly, uh, we'll we'll get the wood buffalo cart. The wood gate and wood wall fortifications. We'll we'll get those because I want that stuff to be uh, we're gonna surround the island so we have like a little palisade. Even though it's actually really safe here. I don't know. Maybe we won't do that. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna get all this furniture. I'm not necessarily showing this to you guys in, in the order that I'm going to get it. I'm just, you know, kind of showing you what, what the next things are. Uh, we want stone roof corners, reinforced windows, um, stone half pieces, and stone ladders there. Uh, okay, so that's tier two stuff. We got the canteen here. We'll probably do the ceiling light and the wall light. We have to do electronics. We're going to do the Platinum Axe. Uh, all of the kitchen stuff, those three things are very important for the best in-game food. What else do we got here? Uh, we'll do the oxygen tank. Uh, the biofuel deep mining drill for sure. Maybe the biofuel lamp, we'll see. Maybe the iron crop plot, I don't know. And then uh, for guns, we have to... Okay, so it looks like we have to hit 25 before we can actually do guns, uh, which we're going to be hitting the next level. So yeah, bolt action rifle uh, is going to be real high up on the priority list as well. And you know, I it's very unlikely I'll have all of that stuff before I bring you guys back. We we want the glass working bench if I didn't already say that because we need to make jars for food and that sort of thing. Uh, so that just gives you some ideas of what's coming up next as far as blueprint points, as far as talents goes. Uh, we're going to focus here uh, on the gun tree uh, rifles in particular for a while solo talents we're going to finish hone heads and then we'll go right to bring a gun to a gunfight uh, for the solo talents and yeah i think that gives you an idea of the general direction i'll be heading in and i will bring you guys back in the next episode 
at some point in the near future when the time is right. I'm gonna, oh, and I'm going to keep working on the base, too. Uh, so with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stay out of flash storms when they come up because they're very dangerous. All right, see ya. Bye.